Who is Darth Vader's favorite YouTuber? That's right. It's Brigzar. Actually, it's probably not. Hey, it's Brigzar, and we got a Lego set, uh, a classic buildable uh, figure set. That's not, I don't think that's what it was called. It's actually more of a Technid set, but it's set 8010 Darth Vader. It is a really cool set. It actually has a couple of little play feature things. Uh, not really much, but uh, we're going to compare it to, to some of the more recent buildable figures of Darth Vader. But this is a classic Lego set. Perhaps I'm using the term classic a little loosely. It's a neat set. Uh, I do need to finish putting the stickers on it, though. I did not ever attach the stickers. And we need to do that. I really hate stickers. So it looks like he's got a belt that goes right there. So I'm going to take this sticker sheet and ruin it. And put it on his belt. Which one does it go on? It goes on the lower one. This is actually a kind of a Technic bar piece. Uh, it's a little off center, uh, but we'll we'll live with it. And then we got this little number pad thing. This one goes on this side on this little bar piece. And then another one on the other side. I really hate applying stickers. So I'm just going to show you. Uh, kind of and that's why I hate because they can never. I'm not good at lining them up and I'm not patient enough as some probably are to make sure they get it lined up perfectly. But that's close enough for me. And then, of course, this is like the sticker that stands out the most. His little panel that goes on the front. And this is uh, what we call sticker over assembly. <laughs> SOS. Sticker over assembly. And so you got all these Technic pieces that are bonded together here. So pretty much once you put the sticker on, you have to leave those pieces assembled forever. Because it will destroy the sticker if you try to take it apart and I hope I hope I got that in the right place oh, it's close enough all right so the stickers are complete all right I'm going to show you some of the play features on this so on the back he's got these <laughs> he's got these two little knobs here uh, there are those technique pieces that you can push and so basically you can do this. This is not, this is very exciting. I'm not trying to get all up under Vader's cape here, but um, let's see if I can do this. Jum 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 jum. I will choke you. I will choke you. Jum 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 jum. Choke you. Thought that would go up higher than that. Is that as high as it goes. <laughs> Very exciting. So his head can move around, kind of get a closer look at what it looks like. Uh, but everything else is pretty much fixed, other than that little play feature. I mean, the, the legs and everything else are just rigid and fixed. So they're not poseable like the buildable minifigures. And it's interesting, the box, it shows the lightsaber action there. And then I guess this is the scene that you're supposed to be reenacting with the hand there. But it's the wrong hand. I don't know. Or maybe they just threw those random scenes on there. But there is also the Stormtrooper set. Uh, we'll have to wonder if I should get that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Where did he... Okay, it shows his chain. His chain, I think, fell over. Let me get that. I, I just decapitated Darth Vader. Let me see. If, take this off. So the chain had it somehow got behind. It needs to be in the front. All right, there. That should get it. Let me get this piece. Turn this piece around here. Oops, I'll fix. That. All right, got that. Let's put his little capy back on. So this piece goes in the middle. This goes on the side, like so. I think. And snap his head back on. There you go, Darth.
And you look much better. All right, very good. All right, so this came with the box that has the inner box. And before numbered bags, they had picture bags to show you the different pieces that are in the particular bag. So we, I'm keeping these bags. A lot of times I recycle the bags, but since these are picture bags, <laughs> I'm keeping those. And then, of course, I'm keeping the instructions as well. doesn't really show much other things. Uh, we do have... Yoda and Darth Maul bust. I don't have that anymore. I used to have that. I have C-3PO, but I got a, I got a couple of missing pieces, and I may have R2-D2. If not, I'm going to try to get R2-D2 as well, and then of course the Stormtrooper. So these are like Technic sets. But they don't say Technic. They're just they say Star Wars on them on the box. And this had 400 pieces. It's hard to believe I had that many pieces. A lot of big elements in there. And one thing that's really nice is that you can store them in the box <laughs> without taking them apart. You have to take, except if you take the, the lightsaber off. You have to take the lightsaber off, but yeah, he stores in the box, which is cool. Oh, this chain got out of whack again. I'm going to compare this to some of the other ones. Oh, you know which number those are. Hmm, which numbers are those? A lot bigger than the uh, more recent incarnations of the buildable minifigure, but not as detailed. Or maybe more detailed. I don't know. This one Does this one not have a chain? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so that's uh, the Darth Vader buildable figure collection that I have. Am I missing any? What set numbers are these? I don't even know. I, I wonder if I've even done a review of those. I probably haven't. I probably need to look those up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, which one's your favorite? I do like the Technic one, even though you can't bend the legs like you can with these. These, you can make more poses with them. But I think that one looks pretty awesome. I like this angle better. What do you think? So be sure to, to subscribe if you want to see more LEGO stuffs on my channel. We're going to be trying to do something every day in 2019. Pretty good. So that's set 8010, Darth Vader. See you in the next one, Squeezar. You have failed me for the last time. Goodbye, Darth. <laughs>